Slime Ranger 2 is finally released. This game looks beautiful, but I'm getting to it a day late, so everyone else has already been playing it. I feel like I need to do something different. I'm going out the back way. I'm going out the back way. No one's done this. This is going to be unique. I'm going down here. Hey! Hey, what's down here? I found a cave! <laughs> yes! Yes, it paid off! I did a leap of faith, and I found a cave. What is this joint? Whoa! Oh, it's the fabricator! Yeah, awesome! In the refinery. Okay, I'm getting some pogo fruit. What do we got down here? What is this? The den. It's like a new area to unlock. Here you go, buddy. Eat that. Give me applause because I need to start making some money. Now, obviously, there's going to be some new slimes in this game. I haven't seen them. I don't know what they're called. I've done my best to avoid spoilers. I know there's one that looks like a rabbit thing. Okay, which is incredibly cute. All right, let's get that. Do I have a corral yet? I do. Let's throw that guy in there. Pogo fruit can go in there as well. I'm going to wrangle these slimes. we got to start producing some money. I wonder what slimes produce the best plorts. You know, the ones that are worth the most. If you know, let me know in the comments. I hope I find one of those rabbit slimes. I don't have a jetpack yet. I'm going up here anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost fell down. Hey, this is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm climbing the mountains. Hey, I found a little drone guy. I had the drones rebuild the conservatory exactly as it was before. I was so happy to see it standing there again. It's glass filtering the beautiful daylight of this magical place. When it was done for a moment, I almost thought things were back to normal. I thought maybe I would just walk inside and start again like nothing had, nothing had happened. What happened? And though I know that's not the case, it was still so nice to finally be home again. What is this story? I've got no idea. So my character Beatrix, which is the same character from Slime Rancher 1, Hey, there's like another ranch down there that I can't get to. My character Beatrix was sat down at the docks at her usual ranch and then a, uh, a boat rocks up with a letter telling her about this place. So she jumped in the boat and just arrived here and here she is. I saw the markets here. I'm gonna sell some plots. I put some high walls on there. Yeah, nice. Oh yeah, gotta put some slimes in there, buddy. So I've turned off the tutorial, right? And I've bumped the damage up so that it's harder. One thing I found in Slime Rancher was that it, it was a little bit easy. I found it a bit easy. So I'm gonna go in hard mode this time. There you go, have some more hens. Oh, this place is cool. Dude, look at this place. It's beautiful. It's called the Rainbow Fields. All right, we got some carrots. I'm gonna get some of them because I can feed it to the slimes. Oh, look at him. They, that their slimes look so much better than they do in Slime Rancher 1. Look at them. They look way more blobby. Oh, check this out. They've got 3D blobs. Oh man, that is cool. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I feel like I, d I don't know what's going on. There's so many places to go. I'm really lost. Okay, I'm just gonna get this plot. You need an upgrade to harvest this. This wet tree. There's a wet tree. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a water spout. <laughs> Okay, here's the boat that I came in on. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, let's keep going. I guess I should probably collect a few slimes. I need a couple. And get some pogo fruit to feed them. So I can get plots along the way. Make money. Get more upgrades. Equals win. My mission is to become best friends with all of the slimes. All of them. We're gonna be on a first name basis. Hugging basis even. Oh, there they are! There they are! That's him! It's the rabbit slime! That slime just jumped out of the statue's mouth. What are you? Cotton slime, a hop, skip, a jump, and oh, it's gone. <laughs> no, it's not. It's in my vet gun. <laughs> Whoa, dude. What a chunky rabbit. Oh, they look so good. They look amazing compared to the regular slime, the Slime Rachel 1 slimes. Really, really good. Hey, give me that. Give us that plot. Oh, I can't. You guys eat some carrots. Give us that plot. Give me the rabbit slime. Sorry, cotton slime. Why are they called cotton slimes? Is it like the whole cotton tail rabbit thing? I don't know. Hey, what's going on over here? Oh, big jump. I found a cave, an underwater cave, and a treasure pod. What's in the treasure pod? These treasure pods are cool looking. What is it? Hydro turret. Yes. I'm gonna get those tar. Okay, I'm gonna try and make that leap. That's a big jump. Oh, there's another cave up there as well. Okay, I don't know if I can make this. Oh, yeah, I made it. <laughs> Only... There's nothing here. I feel like I've waited so long to play this game. I'm getting like some kind of sensory overload where I'm sort of getting the shakes and I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> oh, there it is. I can see the conservatory. Hey, champs, I got you some friends. There you go. Have some cotton slimes. That's what they're called. Uh, you can eat that. You can eat that. Oh, the lighting and graphics in this game is just so beautiful. What's down here? There's like a weird tunnel place that goes under the map. 
Oh, oh, this takes me down into the lab. So what's really strange is that Beatrix came here and the, all this stuff for ranching slimes was already set up. Like someone was already here ranching slimes. That's kind of cool. What's this area? The gully. This expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock. So one thing I noticed about this game is that the slimes actually seem to glow. On Slime Rancher 1, when it was nighttime, the slimes could be sort of hard to see, and so was the rest of the environment. But all of these slimes are really easy to see, and they look incredible. Lucky slime! Oh, cool! Look at that guy! Where's a hen hen? I don't have any. But it's a lucky slime. <laughs> we found one! So this game has lucky slimes too. And we got some phosphor slimes who look like they're literally glowing. Look at him! I'm sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place, I still remember being in awe of these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. It kind of feels like that. And I guess it, in a way it was because it ended much too soon. What happened? Who did this? What is this? It's chewing gum stuck to a rock. Water lettuce. The only glass of water that has your daily dose of fiber. It's lettuce. Found some lettuce. Hey, a cotton phospholago. Dude, what a cool looking slime. It's got so many bits stuck to it. It's got like whiskers, antenna, ears, wings. Oh, even the corrals look better. There you go, guys. Have a couple of carrots. Nice. I feel like I need a garden. Should be able to make a garden. I'm gonna plant some of this water lettuce. 250 new bucks. Thank you very much. Pop that in there. Let's grow some water lettuce. These veggies. Oh, its favorite is water lettuce. Okay, that's good. Have some water lettuce. Get that in your face. Yeah. Oh, hang on. No, I only got... I didn't get double. My water lettuces have grown. It's the next morning, so I'm gonna feed them to the cotton lagos and hopefully get double. Yes. That's the stuff. A plot collector is 500 new bucks. So if I can get that, I'll be happy. Okay, let's have a look at the map here. Oh man, the map is so huge. This area is different. I haven't been here yet. It's like a little gully. Hey, look at these guys making a tower. They look like a worm. Hey, cool. <laughs> it's a cotton gordo. Dude, it's so big. Okay, hang on a second. Any food around here to feed him? Yeah, yeah, water lettuces. Here you go, champ, eat these. It's your favorite. Oh yeah, we're gonna pop this guy. Oh, <laughs> there's some tar down there. The tar is eating slimes. I don't have like any way to carry water yet to fight the tar, so I'm probably gonna stay up here, but I can see a tabby slime down there. Oh, there's also a map. Oh no, the tar's coming for him. All right, I should be able to go like, oh no, no. Shoot him out into the ocean. That's how you get rid of him. Ugh, before you get bitten, like I said, I've got the damage set to one and a half times. So they do more damage to me. All right, let's unlock that map. All right, so we found some kind of sandy zone. Okay, this section here feels like a bit of a dead end. Like I can't quite get across there. I have no idea where I am. Hey, there's a giant pillar thing here. What is this? Looks like something I can unlock. It kind of reminds me of the gold vaults, like the gold slime vaults. Oh no, oh no, oh, in the water. I thought I could make that jump. <laughs> That's a lot of plots. Nice. That's what I need. Okay, this should get me the plot collector, hopefully. Okay, yep, 578. Uh, how good does the game look? Like all these menus and stuff? Cool. You can go back in there. Water lettuce. Okay, plot collector, yes. I think I can climb over that arch, maybe. Okay, then I'll climb up this way. Yeah, this is working. Nice. Shortcuts. Oh, this is the stuff. Oh, feral slimes. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're not stomping me, dudes. All right, cool. This area looks pretty good. There's a few sparrow slimes around here who want to stomp me, but... Oh, I can make that jump. Yeah, nice. Caves. Ugh. All right, treasure pod. What do we got? Pink warp depot. Excellent. Hey, what's this? There's a button. I don't know what to do with this. Oh, the mysteries. <laughs> There's so many slimes down here. So many. Hey, cool. Got a phosphor gordo back here. What are you hiding? He's hiding something back. Hey, there's something in there. Ugh, let me in. Let me in. <laughs> All right, I think we need to feed this guy. We need to get in this cave. And Qberry should be his favorite. I have seen some Qberries around. Found another little drone guy. I was in over my head when I first started here. I remember hauling Jellystone back to the conservatory by hand because I was so excited. 
Breathless and sweating. I was going about everything all wrong, but I was happy. There's still time now, so I'll need these refinery links if I'm gonna be efficient. This time I'm gonna do it right. Who is leaving these messages in the drones? Okay, so that's what these refinery links are. Oh, hey, I found a little cave. Nice, where's this cave? All the way down here. Uh, we've got a treasure pod. Cool, a tree. And we got this. What is this? I found like a little pop thing. Surely this is some kind of treasure, right? I, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna keep it going right there. So I noticed down here in the little underground science cave, there's a thing that allows me to buy upgrades. It's the refinery thing. So this handles all my upgrades. I need to put 10 cotton plots in here. And uh, where do I put them? <laughs> here, okay. Now I should be able to get a resource harvester. Yeah, awesome. I'm also gonna get another corral going so I can put some tabby cotton slimes in here. That way I can also feed them the water lettuces and still get double plorts out of the tabbies as well. Hey, hey, I found another one of these. All right, I can go there until I work out what they're for. <laughs> ah, tabby slimes. Get in here, dudes. Gold slime. I don't have anything to hit it with. Oh, it disappeared so quick. <laughs> yeah, found a gold slime for like three seconds. Hey, pink gordo. Hey, champ. Hey, he looks so happy. Hey, here we go. Nice, treasure pod. What do we get? Small, <laughs> small boulder. That's a nice boulder. Okay, can I get these thing? Oh no, I the wrong button. Can I get these? Yeah, what is that? Oh, jelly stone. No. So I don't have to make drills anymore. Oh, that's so good. What about water? Did I just get that water? Deep, deep bright. Okay, the re refinery thing's right here. I'm gonna put that in there. Excellent. I found something also quite interesting down here. A cave. What do we got? Another treasure pod. Give me this though. What do I get? A power chip. Here you go, guys. Have some plots. There we go. Turn into those guys. Yeah, I like the look of these ones. They look great. Alrighty there, buddy. Oh, he's gonna blow. Yeah, he's gonna blow. Oh, he was hiding a cave this whole time. Oh, and a, uh, we got one of these. Yeah, cool. So, that's where this was. It was the tower. That's what it is. Oh, we gotta go over there. What is it doing? It shot a beam into the sky. I think I'll go down here. Yeah, there it is. Where does this go? This cool teleporter place. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> what is this? It's like a new area. Oh man. Starlight Strand. This is crazy, dude. Oh, look at the like pond. What? I mean, look at the water. Jeez. Hey, honey slime switch thing. Okay, okay. Oh, there's reflections. I'm just gonna run through until I find something like really amazing. Yeah, everything's amazing. <laughs> we got rock slimes. Look at these guys. Oh, they're so beautiful. Hey, what, what was that? Oh! Hey, it's a hunter slime. That's a cotton hunter lago though. Here, eat this. Chill out, dude. Yeah, now he's happy. Look at that, hunter plot. Whoa, that is such a cool looking slime. Hey, a beehive. Buzzwax. The trick to feral slimes is to just carry food and you just feed them. See that? You just give them some grub. Ow, guy stomped me big time. Okay, I don't have enough food for them. <laughs> oh, whoa. Whoa, honey slimes look so good. What's this guy? What are you? An angler slime. It's like a slime fish thing. Oh, I like that guy. Got some of these. Got a rooster in there. What else we got? Heartbeats. Hey, this is like a little jetty thing. Angler Slime's favorite food is a sea hen. <laughs> Hang on a second. Angler plorts are able to maintain their form at incredible depths and make for excellent material for deep sea diving tech. Is there gonna be like an upgradable gear that you can buy that will allow you to go into the water? Oh, I like these guys. I really do. They're such a cool slime. Hey, there it is. It's the sea hen. I'm so lost. <laughs> I thought that would need to be in a pond, but they don't care. So here's this switch, and I think this one takes a hunter plot. So let's pop it in and see where this door goes. Oh, 
Is this where I come from? Yeah, it is. I'm gonna pop another corral in here, and these guys are gonna be angler cotton largos. That way, they're able to also eat the water lettuces. Oh, dude, these are cool. Yeah, I like these guys. They look so incredible. With their little light thing on their head, they're able to emit a flash, which stuns other, like, slimes and things. They look so jelly-like. I love them. If there's any tips and things like that, let me know in the comments, and thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.